December 9th. WKMC TV's lottery assortment winner will be chanced off Monday, and all money and chances are due no later than the end of the day today. The class of 2018 is taking orders for fudge in 16 different flavors. See any sophomore to order. Any junior who did not pick up their chances for the gift card must pick them up in the guidance office. Chances and money are due no later than December 2nd. The winner will be picked December 4th. The Shemokin Dam campus of Empire Beauty School is hosting an open house event Wednesday, November 25th from 1 to 4 p.m. Any seniors interested should contact Marsha Duman at 570-743-1410. Light refreshments will be served. And here's today's news. Junior high math teacher Mr. Persing is teaching students how to make and use data in scatter plots. The class compared certain variables that are related and determined how they affect one another. The students then choose a professional sports team and determine how the money that team spends affected their performance. Students compared teams from sports such as professional football, baseball, basketball, and hockey to see how the team's salary increased their performance. MCA Live talked to 8th grade student Sean Shep talk about the project. Recently in Mr. Singh's class we did um, different graphing plots on salaries versus amount of wins. And we really found that there really wasn't any correlation between either uh, how much money they made or how many wins they had. Um, for like the NFL, they, some teams spent $150 million, but only got about four wins. And some teams spent upwards of $160 million and got 10 wins. It, it really doesn't matter. For MLB, same thing happened. They spent lots of money, not as many wins. It's all kind of in a bunch. And so we found there's no correlation it really except for the NBA that they some more more likely that they spend more more money they spend. Mr. Persing said, I choose this topic for the project because I felt many of the students were interested in sports and it would help them understand the lesson better. The Rotary Student of the Month for October is senior Kyle Kariki, son of John and Patty Kariki, Mount Carmel. Kyle is an honor roll student, participates in football, track, tech ed, FNA, and is a member of the National Honor Society. He enjoys weightlifting, fishing, and hanging out with his friends, Wes and Hudson. Kyle's future plans are to attend a four-year college to major in criminal justice. Congratulations on your achievement, Kyle. This weekend is a big one in the world of the high school band, as 16 of MCA's finest musicians will travel to Williamsport Area High School for District 8 band pre-auditions on Sunday. Sunday, students perform a solo passage, a sight reading section, and scales in a blind audition, which are scored against other players on their same instrument. The competition is fierce, as only the top few placers of each instrument are invited to the district band festival held at Jersey Shore in January. Best of luck to our MCA musicians, including the four seniors who have, had, who have one last chance. And now, we'll be right back with Zach in sports. It's a time of year where seniors begin choosing what college they will attend next fall, but only a select few get to extend their, um, their athletic careers. On Monday, senior cross-country and track field standout David Fletcher signed a letter of intent to attend Lehigh University to compete on their cross and track teams. Dave was joined in the library on Monday by his parents Michael and Susan Fletcher, athletic director Greg Sakavage, track coach Chris Catton, and cross coach Ben McConnell. 
Fletcher is a two-time state track and field medalist and holds a school record 800 time of 1 minute 55 seconds. Coach McConnell commented on Monday that Dave is definitely one of the best players I've ever coached. Congratulations to Dave on this terrific honor. And for last night's scores, junior high girls basketball traveled to Southern Columbia and both teams lost. The 8th grade team had a score of 24 to 16 and the 7th grade team put up a good fight with a close score of 22 to 20. There are no sporting events scheduled for this weekend. Back to Peyton at the news desk. Thanks, Zach. A, criti a critically acclaimed series is coming to an end, The Hunger Games. The premiere of the fourth and final movie installment premiered at midnight. The fourth film, Mockingjay Part 2, was shown for the first time ever in America. The movies are based off the best-selling books, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay, written by Suzanne Collins. The movie follows the exploits of hero Katniss Everdeen in the rebellion against the brutal government of the nation of Pan Am and its leader, President Snow. Katniss and her allies are set to face dangerous traps, harsh tactics, and the questioning of humanity in order to secure the future for a torn nation. If you're a fan of this highly acclaimed series, get out to the theater today. Make sure to check your local movie theaters for viewing times. And for today's lunch, pulled pork sandwich, mixed veggies, mixed fruit, and fat-free milk. Monday's breakfast, ham and cheese on a bagel, chilled juice or fruit, or low-fat milk. And that wraps another week of MCA, MCA Live. Don't forget to come out and see girls basketball and some MCA teachers play basketball. Tomorrow starting at 10 a.m. Have a great weekend, MCA.